everyone. So today we're gonna paint a kibono from Kantai Collection. Uh, from now on, I'm gonna call it Kankole because it's easier to say it like that. So remember how I said I didn't really have purple? <laughs> I'm gonna have a hard time today. <laughs> Good luck. Okay, so I learned from my mistake yesterday and I'm gonna probably use, I don't know, I'm gonna use blue, I guess. Here goes nothing. Man. Are there... Uh, do I have people watching me still playing Kankole in this day and age? Because, man, I miss Kankole. It's been, I don't know, probably two years, three years since I last played it. Ah, uh, the memories. I was a very dedicated Taitaku. You have no idea. <laughs> right. Hmm. When was the last event I played in? Uh, it was... Hmm. Hmm. When was the time that England and Iowa came up? I think before that, I stopped playing. Hmm. Well, anyway. I don't have purple. Okay. So, this is for my friend, Theo. Because he saw my post on Facebook yesterday when I posted my last video. He was like, where's my buns? And I'm like, okay, I'll make a kibono. And then he was like freaking out. He was like, no, it's a joke. It was a joke. Chill. And I'm like, nah, I want to do it. Because I kind of wanted to do fan art of her way before back anyway. And I never got around to doing that until now. Hey. <laughs> so, you know, not bad. I'm gonna try to make this quick. Because uh, we're expecting visitors. Everyone's downstairs right now. And I decided to take the opportunity to record now. Rather than later. So that... So that no nobody's up here right now. Okay. Oh. Huh. Every day is a learning experience. <laughs> Man, I don't really have much to say today. So I'm just gonna tell you stories about my time as a Taitaku. So it all started in around 2013. Uh, my boyfriend really wanted me to, like, play this game. And at that time, Kankole had a lottery system for people who wanted to play Kankole. It was kind of hard to get into the game because of so many gates. Uh, for example, the game is in Japanese. Um, the registration process is difficult. And... You know, if you're not lucky in this lottery, you'll have to wait for a few more months before you try again. So, it's understandable that a lot of people quit on the onset, oops, on the onset of, you know, before they even get to really play. Because, yeah, very difficult. So, he was excited that I'd be trying it out and... Luckily, when I registered, there was already a dedicated wiki page for Kankole. Not a lot of games had that at the time, so that was great. And then, it's the game basically ruined my life. <laughs> Man, I remember how much I used to spend on the game. Because, okay, okay, okay. let me start with... An introduction to Kankole, my sales pitch, which I used to call it before. I tried to get people to play it with me too when I got obsessed with it. Okay, uh, how do I say this? In English. <laughs> uh, I'm running out of English. <laughs> okay, hmm. Kankole is a browser game. It is made by Kadokawa and hosted on DMM 
and in the game you are a teitoku or an admiral it's your job to keep the seas safe and everything with your cute japanese ships ship girls man the, the premise is ridiculous i know stick with me here okay so um you fight these enemy ships called abyssals and basically that's it the gameplay of the game is it's 80 90 95 percent rng it's horrible <laughs> man don't get me wrong i love kankole like i absolutely love it but like the gameplay isn't for everyone and i understand that because it's so salty like uh every now and then you get ship drops you can farm for your girls you can you can go to this particular area and then hope that this particular ship girl drops there's varying degrees of rarity and that just adds salt to injury and mm, why did i play this game <laughs> but um and then there are events the seasonal events where if you clear a stage you get the ship rewards and the equipment rewards some people shamelessly go for easy mode i'm one of them because hard mode is it will it will make you cry it will make you want to die like okay remember when i said that the gameplay was rng okay so you basically just deploy your ships to the area to the map and then you kind of just wait around watch them fight off the abyssals and hope that they don't die you hope that they don't get hit by you don't they don't get severely injured severely damaged by the enemy ships because if they do if they reach red and then you didn't get to go to the boss node you have to go home or else you risk sinking your ship and you don't want that don't be like me okay <laughs> man i remember i had one of the rarer ships at the time because you know not uh, the game didn't have a lot of very rare ships before in 2013 2014 i think okay and man i remember she was a aircraft carrier her name was hiryu she was my first um rare uh aircraft carrier and i was feeling cocky at the time I wanted to finish the stage. I was desperate. And I was like, eh, she'll be fine. She's in red. She doesn't she has red health right now, but she'll be fine. She's strong. She can dodge this. She did not dodge it. <laughs> Holy shit. And then I remember taking a week or two off from playing Kankole because I felt so horrible. See, I'm the type of player who gets really attached to the characters she plays with. Especially in games like Kankole, uh, Grand Blue, um, Token Ranbu, yeah, so, but that incident where I sunk Hiryu, I did not learn from it. <laughs> How many ships have I sunk in my career as a Teitoku? I know, some of you might probably be thinking, wow, what a shitty Teitoku. Yes, call me Kuso Teitoku all you want because i agree man it was horrible it was not nice there was also the time where there's a ship named kawakaze if i remember correctly she is a cute ship i love her she's a destroyer and there's a locking system in kankole so that you don't accidentally feed ships to other ships you know for strengthening and skill training and stuff uh the images weren't loading on my computer at that time 
So I assume that this must be a different Kaze. Because, you know, there were a lot of ships with similar names. Like, um, Kawakaze, Urakaze, Isokaze. You'd know that it's a Kaze because of the kanji characters in their name. And, you know, you kind of just can assume because you play the game too much, right? Huh. Huh. Shit. I just got Kawakaze that day and I lost her the very same day. It was not nice. Man, I remember crying so hard about it. Holy shit, it was not a nice experience. Whew, do not recommend. Man. Okay, I'm gonna try something. Will this look nice? Ooh! Oh shit, do you see that? It looks purple to me, but it looks brown on the camera right now. Huh. Okay, let's just stick with it. Alright, let's see how this is gonna... See, okay, Akebono is... She's a destroyer. She's not a starter ship, sadly. But... Um, she's very dependable. I guess. <laughs> I don't really use her, personally. But I have friends who really love her. Her attitude, I don't know if you can see in my drawing she is a tsundere for the uninitiated uh tsundere means a person character who while they feel good that you're giving them attention or romantic attention they're gonna call you an idiot and stuff like that they're gonna be like mm, you idiot I don't, it's not like I like you or anything and stuff like that. So, there are people who absolutely dig that kind of character. I don't, but whatever. <laughs> That's not whatever. Okay. So, yeah, but she, when mm, in Kankole, you can marry ships. And she says a lot of those Tundere lines when you're married to her. And I'm like, oh boy. Yeah, okay. Does that look nice? Can y'all see it? Hmm. I'll keep on doing it for the other parts of the hair. Okay. Because she's looking like Takao from Ars Pedro. Wait. That, no. No, my favorite anime. She looks like Takao from Ars Nova. Ar Pedro. Ars Pedro, Ars Nova. Right. I had a friend who said that I'm the only person who watches Ars Nova, or Pe Ar Pedro Ars Nova. I feel sad whenever I remember that statement. It's a really good anime. It's also about ship girls, but the premise is vastly different from Kankole. Actually, I got into Ar Pedro before I got into Kankole, which made, which made convincing me to play Kankole easier. <laughs> because they were all ships. Y'all should give it a try. It's a really good anime. Um, some of some of you might not dig the three D animation for the anime, but trust me, it's worth it. It's worth it. I I love I love the anime to death. It's one of my all time favorites. Number one being Yu Yu Hakusho. <laughs> oh man, am I being too off topic? Huh, whatever. It's my channel. <laughs> okay. Speaking of Yu Yu Hakusho, they're gonna have a comeback soon and I'm so excited for it. Oh my god. Ah! Okay. <laughs> I had to get that out. Holy shit. Like, I've been waiting for this for more than a decade. Holy crap. I've been a fan since I was a kid. Uh, in my country, we have dubbed anime. And, you know... Like, they dubbed... <laughs> Just remembering it makes me laugh. Okay. So, you all know the characters. Yusuke, Kuwabara, Kurama, and Hiei. Man. So, in the Filipino dub, uh, they named... They named Hiei Vincent. They named Yusuke Eugene. <laughs> Stupid name. They named Kuwabara Alfred. Very far from Kuwabara or Kazuma. I don't know why they named him Alfred. It was ridiculous. And they named 
Kurama Denise. You heard me right, they named him Denise. They thought that Kurama was a girl. Now when they realized the error of their ways, they resolved to change his voice actor in one episode and made him sound like a guy. But then, you know, how are you going to how are you going to explain that to a bunch of kids watching the show in the afternoon? What the fuck was that? How are you going to explain that to kids who are watching the show in the afternoon? And they're gonna be like, Huh, Denise is suddenly a man! What happened? So, <laughs> they, they resolved to physic- fixing the issue like this. So they went to the demon world in that episode. And uh, Kurama was speaking in his deep male voice, right? And Eugene, Yusuke was like, huh? Okay, no, I'm just gonna use their Filipino names because it's funny. Okay. Uh, Yusuke said, uh, Eugene said, huh, Denise, why do you sound like a man? And, <laughs> and Karama, Denise was like, I've been masquerading as a woman in the human world. To protect my identity as a yokai. <laughs> and oh my god. And and Yusuke, Eugene just accepted that. And he was like, oh okay, I got it, Denise. And then Denise, in his male voice, said, uh, not Denise, Dennis. And I'm like, okay. It's funnier in Tagalog. It's funnier in Filipino, I swear. Like Indeed, De- indeed, Denise. Denise. <laughs> like, oh, shit. Ah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Favorite episode. Whew. Man. Yu 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 Hakusho was the first anime that I obsessed over. Unhealthily obsessed over. I brought. No, I bought so much merch. They're all bootlegs, but they're merch. From various shops in the Philippines. Hmm. Like, you know when you go out to your school? When you go out of school, and then you see vendors selling whatever knickknacks kids want to buy. They used to sell a bunch of sticker sets outside my school. And I saw they had Yu Yu Hakusho. And I'm like, oh shit! Ate, please buy this for me. And then she did. <laughs> Man, that was wild. It was it was a very pleasant memory. And I'm so pumped for the OVA that they're making. I wonder. I wonder what they're gonna do. Are they gonna make a whole new anime series? Or are they gonna reboot the anime? Are they going to... Are they going to... Make a mini movie. How long will the movie be if it is indeed a movie? Man, I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. Oops, forgot to focus. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. So, yeah. Man, the cars are very loud today. wonder why. Good thing it doesn't really pick up on the camera. I'm just really sensitive to the noise if you noticed from the past video okay so if you watched my last video yesterday um there were parts where i'd go oh shit even though i'm not really doing anything on the canvas that's because there was a (laughs) there was a roach in the room and i'm very scared of roaches oh man oh i hear someone coming upstairs Please don't go inside the room. I'm trying to paint. Ah, uh, man. In fairness, I'm going very fast today. Having a better grasp on painting is paying off, yeah? Wow. Also, fun fact, I only ever paint when I'm recording myself for this right now. Currently. 
maybe someday if I'm gonna do something bigger than, you know, a headshot or a tiny frame, tiny square painting, like yesterday, I might, hmm, I might just make a, a speed paint and then just put funky music <laughs> or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see in the future. Ooh, that's very yellow. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, that stands out. I did not want this. Oh well. Mm, maybe I'll put red on it. So that it blends with the environment better. Maybe. Looks like a bloody bell now. What a mistake. Huh. Wow, this actually looks pretty nice. I'm very surprised that I'm able to do this. The skin though. Man. Oh well. Okay, time to fix her eyes. It's supposed to be purple too. Uh, I still don't know how to make it a light purple there's probably no way to make it a light purple unless i drown the paper in water and then super dilute the paint but i don't want to do that <laughs> i feel like i'm gonna rip the paper apart when i do that hmm. okay i'll let that dry up for a while uh i'll go back to the hair <laughs> oh and her eyebrows Ooh, I hear someone. <laughs> oh no, please don't go inside the room. Please. Huh, well, my brush isn't wet. But it's contributing to my very nice output right now. Hmm. Should I be worried? Huh. Maybe I should be worried. Just a little bit. Hmm. Well, there we go. Um, hmm. This was supposed to be a shadow. Okay. Ooh, pretty. I'll just spread it across the thing. Hmm. Oh, it looks so nice so far. I'm surprised. That I was able to do this. Okay, what what shadow? What color should I use for the shadow of her hair? Blue. Blue. This blue or this blue? Hmm. I suppose nothing. It doesn't matter. Hopefully. Oh boy! <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna make a big mistake, and I'm gonna regret this later. Ah! Pray for me. Woo! Okay, not bad. Alright, let's stick with that. Does that look nice? I'll mix it with magenta later. That's gonna look really good, I think. Wow, I'm getting the hang of this! Who knows, maybe I can make bigger scale fan art in the future. <sighs> Man. <sighs> For some reason I'm feeling very anxious about the new year. I don't know why. Like do you do you get that feeling? Do you get that do you get that uncertain feeling of not knowing what to do and not knowing what the future holds? It's Kind of nerve-wracking. Like, what, what should I do when the new year comes? Like, my recording got cut off. My phone's running out of space again. Oh shit. Gonna pick up the slack. Anyway, what was I saying? Ah, the uncertain feeling of not knowing what to do and not knowing what the future holds. 
some people are gonna go like just do what you normally do but better and what if what if you're not really doing anything right now what if you don't really have a sense of direction of where your life should be heading you know that's kind of scary like what the fuck i know i'm just a I'm just an art channel. <laughs> Why am I talking about these kinds of stuff? I don't know. Uh, oh well. Hmm. Huh. This looks great. Huh. This is interesting. Ooh. Ooh, it's starting to look purple. Oh shit. Okay. This is great. This is great. This is this is amazing. Oh my god. Maybe I'll put blue on this thing again. Maybe. This is amazing. Holy crap. Holy shit, guys. Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> I'm sorry for my half screams and shit. Holy crap, I'm so happy. I'm so happy about how this is looking so far. Just gonna mix it a bit. Oh shit! It's looking nice. Man, this is great. Mommy, are you proud of me? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that's interesting. Wait, let me let me try that again. Ooh! Oh, did you see that? Did you see that? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, it's so purple. Wow. So I can do that, apparently. I didn't know. Okay. This is amazing. Holy shit. Wow. It feels like I opened a box of knowledge. And I'm just going crazy over all the things I'm discovering today in this session. Holy shit! This is wild! Oh. <laughs> okay, I'll fix her eyebrows. Because they're not purple. They're blue. Um. Mm. This is nice. Wow. This looks so pretty. Holy shit. Wow, I'm so happy about it. Looks nice. Wow, okay. I'll give emphasize I'll emphasize her eyelashes, I guess. How am I gonna do that? I'm gonna wing it. Mm. Alright, great. Okay, for the other one. Uh, shit. I really need to invest in other brushes. <laughs> Man. Whoa, now she looks like she's wearing makeup. I'm sorry, Theo. I tried, tried to give your baby justice. Okay, time to give her pupils. Uh, I'll use dark blue, I guess. Nice. I'll give her the other eye. Well, I'm running out of space. My phone recording cut off again. Not nice. <laughs> Oof, what the fuck is this? Mmm. I wonder, how am I gonna do the highlights for her eyes later? The white highlight. Hmm. Decisions. My phone ran out of space again. Oops. Okay. I'm almost done, guys! Holy shit. Okay, I'm gonna give her... I want to give her rosy cheeks. I hope I don't fuck this up because her skin looks nice. Ah, good luck. That, that didn't do anything. <laughs> oh, wow, what the fuck. Okay. Let me 
so scared. Ooh. Uh, and then maybe I'll use tissue to blend it in, I guess. Fuck, I can't see. Um... Hmm. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, hang on. I'll get the tissue. I've seen people do this. Uh, it's too wet. That looks better, I guess. Alright! Holy shit! I'm almost done. And then I'll just add a little definition in her nose. Yeah. And give a little bit more shading on some areas. I don't know how to do this properly yet. Maybe I should use a different red. Maybe I'll use the brown one for the neck. Is it because it's a dark area? Hmm. I'm applying it very lightly because I'm scared of messing up her skin. Because skin is probably one of the harder parts of the body to paint. Like, just one wrong move and she's gonna look like an alien. That kind of thing. Man. Art is so hard. Why do I do this to myself? Alright. And a little here, I guess. Wait, fuck, it's so... It's so wet. Holy shit. Mm, there we go. That looks decent. Mm, oh, that looks nice. Oh, that, th that blends very nicely, okay. I know what to do now. I suddenly don't know what to do. <laughs> okay. Huh. That's interesting. Hmm. Maybe I should play Kankole. Actually, I've been planning to get back into it anyway. But I'm waiting for their HTML5 update. Because... They're, they're hyping it up, like, they're gonna change a lot of stuff with Kankole. They already changed a, a bit of the buttons and stuff, like, okay. They said that they're gonna, because the game is actually a Flash game right now. Like, it's running on Flash on the browser. And then they're gonna make the change and make it an HTML5 game now, which is the standard for... Almost all of the things on the internet right now when you're running applications and games. Wow! Okay, that's great. That looks great. Holy shit! Guys, oh my god. That's great. I'm gonna sign this proudly. I forgot to sign the last one I made yesterday. <laughs> Funny. What day is it today? It's 27. Oh my god, that's how many days left before Christmas? Christmas! <laughs> Another whole year. <laughs> how many days before New Year? Holy shit, guys! Wow, I, I, I surprised myself with this. And I hope y'all enjoyed this one as much as I did. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye!